my parents' room is like a penthouse. beautiful people we're off to the beach today I don't know where but I'll take you along with me and I'm just drinking my herbs <laughs> before we go um, we're in a bit of a rush now to get out the door because we've got to check out um, these are my herbs to help with my hormones and my skin and all that jazz but before we leave I thought I would give you an outfit of the day so this is my outfit of the day this little dress from Target and it's got a little tie at the back but I can't show you maybe I'll get my mum to film it for me and I've got these little earrings from La Vista and this from last night which I already showed you and my little whoop bracelet here from La Vista and my shoes from last night whoop this bloody cord my shoes from last night, but I've got a pair of socks on with them today. Hey, so I'm in the car. Um, we just rented a car from Thrifty and my parents are signing something in there. So I'm staying in the car at the moment. We've left the hotel, um, which was really nice by the way. We had a lovely time staying there for a couple of nights. I think we're going into the city now to go to a health food store. Mum wants to get some dandelion tea I think it's called apparently it's good for a whole bunch of things so we're gonna try and find that and maybe have a coffee down the street oh I forgot to mention my watch in my um, uh, outfit of the day uh, which I got for Christmas it's a Mark Bale watch it's got these like little diamond tees and it's rose gold I love it. Yeah, I just thought I'd mention that because I realized I didn't say that in my outfit of the day. to the Rendezvous Grand Hotel in Scarborough, I think that's how you pronounce the suburb. Um, and this hotel is beautiful. I'm in my little room, and I say little because my parents' room is like a <laughs> penthouse. Or maybe it is the penthouse, but it's huge. And I will show you that in a minute and excuse my swearing. But when I walked in, I was like, what the f Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you that in a second, but I'll show you my cute little room first and the balcony. And yeah, give you a room tour. So when you walk in, you have the bathroom straight away which is a nice bathroom with a shower bath looking into 
the bedroom. And then we go out here. There's a TV. There's the bed, which is nice. And then this is the view. How do I get out of here? Huh. No. Um, hello? Somebody help? Oh. And this is the view to the beach. Wow. Hi! There, you're in your penthouse! <laughs> Do you like your penthouse? <laughs> You got the whole floor. Oh my god. I'll take you over there. This must be the pool. Down there. Okay, I'm gonna take you to my parents' room. It's huge. Oh. Knock, knock. <coughs> Taking them into the penthouse. So this is my parents' room. <laughs> penthouse. So, you walk in and there's a little kitchen bar area. You walk in here. You're not in the toilet, are you? You're not in the toilet. No. Here's the uh, <laughs> here's the bedroom. Nice bedroom with oh my god! Look at your bath. <laughs> I haven't even looked in here yet. Oh my god! Look at this. What the? That's the bath. Sink. Toilet. Shower. My god, this is the size of some people's bloody apartment. This, just this bathroom. This room is bigger than my entire house. <laughs> so, then they have a little balcony out there, which I'll show you in a second. And you come out here. This little table. Little desk. Another toilet which is like the size of a room, just with a lonely toilet in the middle. <laughs> this is like the size of a room, this bathroom. Yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I know, this is bigger than my house. This is little lounge room area and then I'll show you the balcony so I'm over there hello me this is their balcony it's a beautiful day this is my parents idea of glamping <laughs> what? it's your idea of glamping now I'm going to have my salad, my chickpea salad from the organic cafe and some soup. What was the soup called? Um, lentil, coconut, coconut and, lentil. and lentil soup. Do you want to put these in the fridge at all? Okay, so I'm back in my own room at the moment. I had lunch. I didn't finish that chickpea salad because the soup was so filling. Um, so I just had a little bit of that. So I've got that for a little bit later on if I get peckish. I think my dad's gone down to the pool, which I might go down a little bit later if I feel like it. Mum's reading her book and I thought I would show you what I got from the organic cafe that we went to, which was absolutely beautiful, by the way. Like, 
They had so many amazing things in there, vegan, gluten-free, um, food and products, and I just went crazy. So I bought some skincare products that I want to share with you. My dad's calling me. Hold on. Yellow. Come and wave to you. Okay, you're down near the pool. Okay. All right, hold on. Hold on a second. Let me open the door. Oh, I just locked myself in. Where are you? I'm too scared. Oh. <laughs> oh, I might come down in a minute. That was scary. I had like my camera and then my phone. I was like trying to look but not drop anything. Oh, made my feet go all funny. Anyway, so I bought, yeah, these crisps, which I just thought I could munch on. They're vegan and gluten-free and organic and all that lovely stuff. Let me move this bloody thing that you put around your neck. Always gets in the way. Um, so these ones here, which I've never seen this brand before. So check those out. And then this is my box full of goodies, except it's not from GoVita. And it's not a box, it's a bag. Um, my mum went into GoVita to get some dandelion tea. So, first thing I got from that organic cafe store place was an anti-dandruff shampoo, which is vegan and organic and free of all parabens and nasty chemicals. So it's this one here. The reason why I got anti-dandruff shampoo is because um, going off the pill, I got like this kind of psoriasis not really psoriasis it's like dandruff slash pimples in my hair fun stuff right so i want to get that under control i'm hoping that this will help calm down my scalp and it's vegan it is so hard to find an anti-dandruff shampoo that is vegan i mean you can find them out there but one that is vegan and organic and hopefully smells nice and smells nice is hard right and it just looks fantastic so I'll let you know what this is like I also got a conditioner which is the relaxing lavender and ylang ylang organic herbal blend conditioner from organic selections I think the brand is called um, so that's it there they did have other shampoos in this brand which I was thinking of getting but I just got the anti-dandruff shampoo so we'll see how I go with all of that then I got a new cleanser I use Sukin um, at the moment which is a really good brand I've always loved it I've always used it but I saw this and I thought I might give it a go because it is for combination and blemished skin so I'm hoping that this might help along with my Clarisonic to help clear up my skin or to make it better. This is the La Vera Refreshing Cleansing Gel Cleanser. So we'll see what that is like on my skin. And then I got some organic toothpaste, mint flavor. And this is sulfate free, fluoride free, mineral oil free. Then I've got three more things to go. I bought um, this foundation, which I just wanted to give it a try. It is from a brand called Benicos. Not sure if I'm probably not pronouncing that right. It is a natural creamy makeup. And I, at the moment, don't actually really wear foundation with my pimply skin. I never have really worn foundation when I had good skin. I just literally wore concealer under my eyes, blush, and then did my eye makeup and my eyebrows and my lips, but I never wore foundation. The only thing that I would wear is like a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream. I didn't really need anything else. 
and I didn't really want anything else because anytime I would put on foundation it would just like clog up my skin and be gross and I just hated the feel of it and I just didn't need it in my life but now since I have some pimples going on on my face I feel the need to cover them up a little more at the moment I'm just using a tinted moisturizer mixed in with a BB cream because my tinted moisturizer was a little bit too dark now that it's winter I needed something a little bit more light and the BB cream is a little bit more light so I kind of mix the two together but it doesn't really give me any coverage like it I don't feel like it really covers my face very well and I use a lot of my concealer on my pimples to really conceal them up I just wanted I don't know if this is actually like a, f a good coverage or not but I just wanted to try it since it was vegan and it was all natural and if I like the brand then I might see if I can buy them online anyway we'll see what it's like this is the product here and then last but not least I got um, a lip balm which is vegan cruelty free and it is black cherry tinted lip balm hurrah and it looks like this gives my lips a little bit of a tint while moisturizing them because i always have really dry lips and then you saw in the car i was eating a vegan protein bar um which was the chocolate and coffee one but I also bought another one which is goji coconut protein bar so see what that's like and that's it that's my little haul for today <laughs> um, I think I might wander down to the pool see what it's like down there take you with me this is a nice view from the lift. Well, I'm not in the lift, but waiting for the lift. The view from the other side of the hotel. Oop, there's my lift. Where do I go? Lobby? No. Lobby. No, I want to go. Did I get in time? I need to go to number 10. on but I'm not getting in because it's actually quite cool down here now it is about 3 30 4 o'clock so I think I'll leave that for tomorrow but um it is very pretty down here I do like the pool so hopefully it's warmer tomorrow and I can get in I'm just sitting on my parents balcony at the moment in the Sun because it's really nice up here and I'm just having some Dandelion tea. Mmm, tastes really nice. Has um, apple and cinnamon, and I don't know what else it said on the box. It's a detoxifying tea, so you can't have too much of it. <laughs> um, but apparently, it's supposed to be really good for your health. It's meant to help with hormonal acne as well and a range of different things so anyway my mum looked it up and thought it might be something good to try so we're trying it my mum got the tablets of uh, dandelion I will show you those tablets um, mum bought <laughs> these are the dandelion 
tablets, which, what's it say? Oh, it says, has been used for beneficial liver tonic properties, considered a di di digestive bitter herb. It may help encourage a healthy appetite, a digestive function, and nourish the liver. I won't be taking these at the moment because um, I have my herbs and a whole bunch of other things I'm taking from a hormone. So I'm just going to have tea every now and again. Otherwise, I'll be taking too many things. We bought this down the street too. Some power plant protein. Vegan. I got some gluten-free porridge. Although don't have anywhere to cook it but maybe I can make it with some with the kettle <laughs> and I've got some sea salt and that's it oh turmeric latte this is also very good for you if you haven't had turmeric latte making your own or getting this mix get on it it's good for you what Coffee martini? Is that what you're going to have when we go? <laughs> um, it's filming me. Don't worry, I'm, I'm not getting... <laughs> I'm not getting you in. <laughs> what are you saying? Espresso martini. What about it? It's, it's called an espresso martini. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking, they're talking shit. No. Look at that. How pretty. Hmm, this nice soft lighting we have here. So, we are about to go and have a drink and some nibblies. There is this like free thing on our floor that we're on I don't know what to call it but you basically go in and you can have drinks and nibblies from five o'clock so we're gonna go and do that and if I'm still hungry I have still got my salad which I will have when I get back to the room if my parents decide that they don't want to go down for dinner or I might order something to the room if I'm still a bit hungry but we'll see what they have at drinks and nibbles. Strange world we live in. All we want is loving. Searching for things unspoken. We can't hold this token. Stick to the So I am back in my room now what's that on oh, my foot oh my god <laughs> I still have the sticker on here of how much my shoes cost oh my god I'll get that off in a second $79.95 I still have on the bottom of my shoe I've seriously been walking around like that all day long um <laughs> Anyway, it's also saying I'm back in my room. We had some nibblies and drinks and I didn't really eat much. I just had like some olives and hummus and pita bread and stuff. They didn't really have anything vegan, although I probably could have asked and they would have brought out something for me because we asked for some vegan options, gluten-free options for breakfast tomorrow. So they've been very accommodating. Now, I think... Um, I'm going to eat the rest of my salad that I had, my chickpea salad, because I still have like a lot of that left over. So I'll have that for dinner. And um, I think I'm gonna run a bath and just relax and watch a TV series on Netflix or watch some YouTube videos, something like that. I think I'm gonna sign off here. So I hope you enjoyed this video for today. Love you all. Stay beautiful. Bye. Going in a circle, lost, no going back. Lost in
when I go in back. 